The changes to War Pets are finally here and they're finally in the game. The, the things we have so desperately requested, which is the ability to input the skills in every slot we want. So in this video, I'll be teaching you the best ways for you to start to prepare your War Pet in order to properly replace the skills you want and build together the perfect War Pet. What is up guys, Meower here, back with a brand new Call of Dragons video. So the long-awaited Warpad changes have finally hit the game, but before we dive in what the best ways are for us to open the skills, properly build the war pet in the skill tiers that we want and all that stuff, I want you to drop a like, subscribe, and let's dive in. So, we now finally have the ability to select where we want to land the skills of war pets and which slot we want to replace. However, you'll notice that there are still closed skill slots that you can you still need to unlock. So I'll be teaching you a couple of tricks right now that you can do in order to properly unlock these skills. And I'll give you some stuff that you need to keep in mind when doing this. First of all, the first skill you ever unlock usually costs like one or two, assuming you crit or not. And then it keeps scaling more and more. So the second skill will cost you 10, 10 skill slots, and then the next one will cost you around 20, and so on and so forth. It seems to inversely scale in a, in a matter that you just need to keep critting and hoping that the skill lands. Also, you never want to have the prioritize already owned skill cards marker, as this one automatically chooses the cheapest zero star skill that you can just keep spamming in order to unlock the skill slots once you've unlocked the skill slots that you need we're gonna go ahead and select this war pet for example this is a decent war pet we want to unlock the skills here we want to unlock everything and we can just you know just keep spamming 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 and hoping for the best of course you gotta keep in mind the higher the tier the war pet the harder it is for you to unlock war pet skills here and the skill slots so just keep spamming, just keep spamming, keep spamming, and then we're gonna dive in and start to replace the skills. So here, I wanna replace this skill, right? So I'm gonna go over here, I'll take any skill I want, for example, Magic Pulse, I'll learn it, I'll select which one I wanna replace, and then I'll just replace it right there and there. Now, do I wanna start working on the war pet that has a one star tier and one star talent personally i will be a bit greedy and hope for a two star but eventually my patience will just run thin and i'll start replacing the skills and build this war pet into perfection because i desperately need a good war pet so while the investment might be a bit exp expensive at first you gotta keep in mind that it is now much easier and the risk is much 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 less than it used to be, and the reward is so much worth it. So you're usually going to be spending a lot of coins in order to unlock all the skill slots, but don't worry if you have useless skills placed here, because at the end of the day, you're just going to keep replacing it. And once you replace them all fully and you unlock everything that you need, you're just going to have to start replacing with the skills that you already own. So the system has become easier, but it also became a bit more expensive because you have to keep buying all the skills. But at the same time, once you buy the skills, it is far more easy now to just, you know, go to the pet exchange, da 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 da, da select, you know, maybe Forceful Flame Bloom, zero star, or Forceful Flame Bloom, one or two stars, depending on the build you want to go for and the pets you want to build and so on and so forth. And then, you know, just go all the way here, come here, or which one was the pet? So skills, replace this, and slap the skills that you want. So, it is now far easy to do war pets. It is far more easy to unlock the skills, and you just gotta keep hoarding pets. So, don't be lazy when gathering pets, especially because now they're more, far worth way more than they used to be. And be greedy with the talents now. You can't just, you know, be like, oh, I have a zero star talent, but the attributes are good. That's not the case anymore since you can select which skills goes where. So be sure not to replace your talents as well because, you know, replacing a talent means a warped is automatically useless. 
So this was a, a little nice quick video to showcase the changes and what you can do in order to speed up your progress. And I'll be making more in-depth videos going forward for the actual builds for every single Warpath type in order to truly maximize your benefits and maximize the Warpath advantage that you have over your enemies because now you can select every single slot you want and you can be as greedy as you want to without a care in the world. So this was a nice little quick video for you guys just to showcase the changes and what you can do in order to maximize uh, your value of unlocking skills and maximize the ways that you can truly unlock the skills and place the skills that you want. Of course, if you like content like this, please be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Join the Discord. The link is in the description. I would love to see you all there and, inter and interact with every single one of you. And on that note, I will see you in the next video.